All right, Carsten, we're going to <laughs> unbox a Lunar Rover. A yes. Lunar Rover unboxing. Let's do it. Here, so, here's on the side here. Open this. Down here? Yep. Yep. And the other side as well. Oh, I've got it. Yep. Okay. Uh, now, carefully. Oh, carefully. Up. Carefully, here we go. <laughs> oh, all oh, right. No, wait, uh, no. Wiggle a little bit. Wiggle? Go down a bit. Uh, go down a bit. And down a bit. Wiggle a bit. We're oh, wiggling. No. Yeah, We're wiggling a Lunar Rover. Uh, Ta-da! Oh. Come around. Oh, Come around. Yep. All right. There we go. Ta-da! Wow! That is bigger. That is much bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be about that big. You know what's funny that, uh, you know, no one has ever said to me, Oh, this is about the size I expected it to be. You know, there's, there are people that come in like, Oh, this is bigger than I thought. And there are people coming, Oh, this is smaller than I thought. Smaller? Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have a squeeze. This is my first look at it. Oh, wow. Beautiful. It is the Audi uh, Luna Quattro, because you're sponsored by Audi. Exactly. Yep. And it's the Google Luna X Prize. Oh, Hot, yeah, well, uh, hot milk glue. <laughs> hot milk glue. Yes. Yeah, don't take a look at this. You know, this, uh, this is something that I just very quickly added for the purpose of coming here because we're doing some testing in the dark area and I want to eliminate it. Right. So this Got is it. not something that you will find on the real rover, uh, probably. Right. It's a and watch. Are these the real wheels? Yes, those are um, cast alloy. Are they? Uh, a... No, no. Those, this is um, this is three uh, D printed aluminum. It's a three D printed aluminum. Exactly. So this is really a one millimeter aluminum hull. Right. You know, like all yep. around, and uh, it's extremely lightweight. Nice. And, uh, yeah, pretty sturdy. And, wow. But the, the profile is not exactly the one we are going to use on the moon. Um, okay. This is more right. for the looks of it. But, Got it. Yeah. Um, the the manufacturing is about the same. But on the moon, you'd actually used cast some sort of uh, 3D printed yeah. alloy? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 3D printed right. aluminum is uh, working right. pretty fine for the moon. Excellent. What's, what's really neat about this is, though, is um, this part here. This is, um, this is one part, and yep. uh, the beam, actually, because that you see is hollow. Yeah, yeah. And so we are routing the cables for the electronics on the ah, inside. Ah, right. Yes, of course. So this makes it uh, look very sleek. Uh, it, it also um, it decreases the weight significantly. So you've got a hub motor in there, yep. some sort of... Yep. yep. Right. Is that just a regular... Like, do you need some space-grade hub motor that keeps out the uh, lunar dust and yeah, so, all um, the rest of it? Yeah, so for... Uh, for the dust, you need to be very careful because it's um, it's very fine powder. It can get into everything. Ah, uh, yep. So you need yep. to have a good um, uh, I don't know the uh, English term for it. Um, so you need to make sure that doesn't seal. Seal, yeah. You need yep. to have a very good seal, so it doesn't get any in there. But uh, from a motor, you want to use a brushless motor and instead of a brushed motor. Got it. Because uh, you're in vacuum, and with a brush, it could be that um, there's some cold melting happening. Oh, cold okay. Melting, sorry. Interesting. Right, so brushless is the go. Yep. For lunar rovers, there you go. Exactly. Wow. Etron. Yes. Who who is Etron? Who e or what is, is Etron? The, uh, the the Audi brand for the electric cars. Oh, okay. Yes, of course. Right. Oh, and you've got to have some four millimeter banana plugs. Yeah, that, this is uh, Jax. This is the high tech solution for uh, switching it on and off. <laughs> Fantastic. And and so you've got like a little plug. Unfortunately, it has the Belgian flag on it instead of the German. <laughs> no. And it's Bluetooth, is yes. it not? So that's, a little, that's yeah. a little Bluetooth antenna? Yeah, the problem is that um, everything is made of aluminum, so um, you need to yep. put the antenna outside to get any reception. Got it, of course. But that, that won't be on the final production one. No. <laughs> is the solar <laughs> panel production yep. ready? This is, um, this is a production ready uh, one. Yeah. This is a um, Alta Devices um, cells. Those are extremely thin. Um, right. You can, you can bend them actually. This is, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it has a, you know, this has a slight curved it, it, surface. It, it does have a slight curved surface. Yep. Which is mostly for the looks. Actually. Right. Fantastic. Let's have a look at the back. It's it's a very sexy looking unit. It really is. <laughs> wow! It, I, you, can, you can see that we got some help from uh, our friends at Audi. Audi, right? Okay, so it didn't look this good before Audi came along. No, no before right. we called it the tank. You know. 
Right. <laughs> so before it was uh, highly functional, uh, not very well looking, but uh, now it's um, it's sexy and it's really lightweight. Got it. You know, in a second when you lift it up, you will be like, whoa. Oh, okay. We can lift it. Sure. All right, let's oh, go. We'll put it on the table, right? Yep, we'll put it on the table. Hang on, this could be a... Here we go. All right. So if you lift it, you uh, take it here. Oh, 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 on the top frame. Okay. Yep. All right, let's lift her up. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That weighs 20, 20 kilos? 25. Yeah, okay, 25. There you go. It's um kind of bigger than I thought. I thought we'd be able to. I Like, I seriously thought it'd be half that size. I thought it would be half that, because I, I, was, I was picturing us being able to, like, shoot a video with this in front of it, talking about it. But um, obviously, that's going to change the logistics of, the, <laughs> of how we shoot the video. So, hmm. There'll probably be more. But that is... <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> I've got a Lunar Rover in my lab. Thank you very much, Carsten, for You're coming all the way from Germany. Yeah, not. Welcome. I'd love to say just to see me, but <laughs> no. Well, Unfortunately, you know. you know, he just happened to be in Sydney, and hey, I've got a Lunar Rover, and wow, awesome. There you go. That's the world's first unboxing <laughs> of a Lunar Rover. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thanks, Carsten. And we're going to drive it around the car park just because we can. <laughs> and it's a Sunday. Oh, look, look. Oh, it lights up. Oh, beautiful. All right, Carson. Let it rip. Oop. Ah, uh, what the? Adjustment required. Go, little Quattro. You can do it. with a top speed of about one meter per second. <laughs> so that's about top speed as, uh, as far yeah. as you can get. Right. Okay, show us the app, Carsten. Yeah, so this is um, the very sophisticated uh, remote control app that we developed. It's actually designed in such a way that uh, even the children could use it. So um, if you're going here, it goes straight. You can go, the further you go from the middle, the faster it goes. Right. And uh, if you go a little to the left, you know, it uh, actually turns left. Got it. And uh, so go a little to the right, and it turns right. You can go a little to the left, like this. And you can go a little to the right, and go to the right. <laughs> and it does the same backwards. <laughs> you can see it can turn on the spot. Isn't that cool? And then if, if you pull your finger down, it'll go backwards, yep. <laughs> and if you move your finger in a circle, he'll go in a circle. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. No? <laughs> no, this is, so uh, this is, for example, if you want to go, if you want to steer oh, on the, okay. the spot, this right. is. right. But the problem is that um, it's not easy to go from turning to, so it's not a good idea to cross oh, this. Oh, it's not a good idea to go yeah. around? Okay, got it. Yep. Yeah. So, but you can, you know, try around like this. <laughs> Somehow I don't think it's getting up there anytime soon. Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a go. Here we go. If, if Sagan can do it, I can do it. All right. And that's its blistering top speed. Uh, that's actually half the speed because oh, oh, speed. Yep, yep. I, I, I limited you a little bit uh, he, so he that... He limited me, he didn't trust me. <laughs> he, he didn't trust me. There we go. Speed. And it takes another one and a half seconds until you see what you've done. And so you can do a three second delay to simulate what it is driving on the moon. And so if you press now, one two, three, and why doesn't it move? Oh, okay. It's a bit longer than three seconds. One, two, three. You see, it's a delayed. Whoop. Whoa, it can get down that. Whoa, that hurt.
Hi, check what I've got in the lab. It's a Luna Rover. Do you believe it? It's the Audi Luna Quattro. And with me is uh, the head electronics designer, Carsten. Thank you very much for joining us. Hey, welcome. Excellent. You're going to tell us all about the Audi Luna Quattro and yeah. the X Prize. Exactly. So, um, this is actually the fourth generation rover prototype that we developed. So, it's uh, before this one, we actually had four other ones. 